Well, good evening and welcome back. Got some cards. It's a wonderful Friday. Got myself a little mystery booster and three Zendikar Risings. Today's episode is brought to you by a very nice dry blueberry wine. But it's Pat Cracking Friday. Hope everyone's having a great way, great day. It has been very eventful these past few weeks. Uh, this past week, especially past two weeks, with the uh, whole new The Walking Dead secret lair. Uh, I'm gonna. I I have deleted my reasoning. Um. Okay, so uh, all that's going to be left is my, my uh, I'm just going to delete the, the reasoning why. Let's just, needless to say, I'm just going to say that it's, uh, ooh, that one's kind of cute. Look at the big old frog. Uh, needless to say, let's just say I like the idea. Um, there's some really good cards in this one. Prowling Felidar. I don't think I have that one. Balaged Recovery, Core Blade Master, and Moss Pit Skeleton. Um, but yeah, I like the, I like them. It is, uh, some of them are a little bit better than the others when it comes to The Walking Dead. Uh, though Rick has tr proven to be, he really has proven to be a very good legacy card. Um, Really good for white, for sure. Do, do, do. Proven to be a good powerhouse. And we know that these are the land and the plant, which really is kind of gross. And the rare mythic is Nahiri's Lithoforming X and 2 red. Sacrifice X lands for each land. Sacrifice this way. Draw a card. You may play X additional lands this turn. Lands you control enter the battlefield tapped this turn. Eh, that's all right. Um, the, yeah, anyways. So my, my say on that is I like it. And uh, we're just going to drop it off to that. I know there's plenty of people out there that really hate it. Um, it's really, you know. Sorry, sorry, but yeah, don't care. That should be it. Oh, nope, we got a, we got a uh, foil in this pack. That's cool. Oh, I know a lot of people are, wow, so much damage on these cards. We got a lot of people that are really backing up Mitch and some of the others. Personally, I've been playing this game forever. Um, it's nice to see something kind of new. Gecko. Attended healer. Huh. Okay. So this must be the foil, right? Pressure point. Okay. Not bad. I'll put that one right there. And this is the mythic or rare is. Oh, there you go. Morag. Fury of Akum. Four and two red, legendary creature, Minotaur Warrior. Each creature you control gets plus one, plus zero for each time it was it has attacked this turn. Uh, he has landfall. Whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, if it's your main phase, there's an additional combat phase after this phase. At the beginning of your combat, untap all creatures you control. This is 6-6. Six, six. Not bad. I know what deck he's going in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He'll be going in my... Do, do, do. Howden and Paco deck. Great deck. 
I'll have to do a deck deck on it. But yeah, anytime I can get an additional attack turn, hey, I'm all for that. What were these cards again? Oh yeah, oh, got two swamps. That's cool. All right, so that one and that one. And then we have, well, we're gonna have one uh, foil, that's okay. So negate, awesome, awesome, awesome artwork on that one, negate. Blood price, I like this card, I really do. Three in a black says, look at your top four cards of your library, put two of them into your hand, the rest in the bottom of your library in any order, you lose two life, I like that. I'd pay for it for that any day of the week. Seagate Colossus. Cliffhaven Sellsword. Ghoul, Ghoul Draws Mucklord. Broken Wings. Cleansing Wildfire. Cunning Geyser Mage. Ooh, there you go. Uh, Kazandu Nectarpod. Actually really cool. Artwork on that one. Fissure Wizard. And then some uncommons. Vastwood Fortification. Put a 1 1 counter on a target creature. See, I like this one because it only costs one green, or you can tap, bring it in as a land. So it's not bad. That one's kind of worth it. Windrider Wizard. Whenever you cast instant sorcery spell, Wizard. Okay. Thart, thwart the Grave. Not bad. I like the artwork on it, though. Not a big fan of the party mechanic, but whatever. And the mythic or rare is... Oh, there we go. Nighthawk Scavenger. This is a good one. He has one and two black. Flying Death Touch Lifelink Vampire Rogue. And you know he's going into my vampire deck. Nighthawk Scavenger power is equal to one plus the number of card types among cards in your opponent's graveyards. Not bad. Not a bad card. I like it. He's a plus one, plus three. Or, I'm sorry, plus one, three. Plus one, star, three. He's even better than the regular Nighthawk. And let's open up this bad boy, shall we? I don't buy too many of these. Primarily because the cards in them aren't that great. Um, they, they have some good cards, don't get me wrong. But for $8, and a lot of the cards... That you get in your bulk rares, or in the rare, in the, in the uh, what are they called? The foil. They're just bulk now. They're just, they're not that great, but it's an $8 pack. I normally don't buy them. Knight of the Skyward Eye. Territorial Hammer Skull. Now, there is a couple of commons that I would like to get. Essence Scatter. One black, I think. Days, that's a good card. A Cursed Spirit. That's a crappy card. Reassembling Skeleton. That's a crappy card. Fervent Strike. Sez Seismic Shift. Giant Spider. Greater Sandworm. Ooh, there we go. I needed one of these. Coiling Oracle. It's always good to have a couple extras. Frontier Bivouac. Hey, it looks the Trilands. Oh, there you go. That's actually not a bad one. Rise the Redeemed. A green and a white. Legendary creature. Elf Warrior. Two. A green. I'm sorry. Um, Selesnia. One Selesnia, which is white and green hybrid. Tap. Put a 1-1 one, one green and white elf warrior creature token into play. For Slesnia, Slesnia, tap for each creature token you control. Put a token into play that's a copy of that creature. Actually, not bad card. Next one is alright, Collective Brutality. You can never have too many of those. It's not a bad, not a bad set. For one in a black, discard, or has Escalate, discard a card. Um, choose one or more, and if you do the if you discard a card, you get to choose an extra one. So, 
Target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose an instant sorcery card from it. That player discards that card. Target creature gets negative two, negative two until all in a turn. Or target opponent loses two life and you gain two life. All right, not bad. And Undead War Chief. I actually needed this one for my zombie deck, so that's kind of cool. He's a time spiral foil. So that's not bad. That's not great. That's not bad. Undead War Chief. Zombie spells you play cost one less to play. Zombies you control get plus two, plus one. Yeah. And he's only a one, one, though. Well, there you go. Enjoy the rest of your day. All right. Remember to hit that uh, notification button. Oh, looks like a little dent right there. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, hit ring the bell for notification of when I make new videos. Uh, be a subscriber and leave a message down below. Very much appreciate it. I hope everybody has a great day. Now, I am putting my address down below. Not my address address. My P.O. box. Leave a message. Uh, send me stuff and I'll open it right here on my channel. I'll be happy to. With uh, cautions, of course. I um, hope everybody has a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Or at least Monday.